The Secrets of Hampton Court Palace. Hi, I'm Zach, and I'm here visiting Hampton Court. It's a famous palace that's over 500 years old. Heard about Henry VIII? Maybe like me, you're learning about the Tudors at school. Well, this massive palace was his actual home. <coughs> this way, please. Stay together now. I'm standing in the haunted gallery in King Henry's state apartments. There's loads of pictures here of Henry, his family and his six wives. He literally chopped and changed them. I just don't get why he married them all and why they married him. If only these walls could talk. <coughs> Oof! <gasps> I'm sorry. Here, let me help you up. Where did you come from? Coming out of the blue and knocking me over. And me with all this linen too. Here, help me fold them again. Quickly, the Queen can't be kept waiting. I must have gone back in time again. Are you a laundress by chance? The cheek. I made to Queen Catherine. Which Queen Catherine? Bless my soul. Catherine Parr, of course. You're not thinking of Catherine Howard, are you? We don't talk about her. They say her spirit haunts this gallery, screaming as she was when the king ordered her to the tower. Yikes! But why do you think there were so many queens, if you don't mind me asking? Oh, the stories I could tell. First, of course, there was Catherine of Aragon, married to Henry's brother Arthur she was, just five months before his death. Marrying his brother's wife? That's a bit weird. Surely he could have had anyone he wanted. Some say they married to strengthen relations between England and Spain. Although, if you ask me, Henry only marries those he chooses. As to what she thought, I don't think her wishes were considered. They say she'd have liked to return to Spain to lead a religious life. Strange that after being married to her for 25 years, Henry looked for a new wife. Well, Catherine gave birth to six children, including a boy, but only Lady Mary survived childhood. Henry VIII was desperate for a male heir, so he sought to annul their marriage. To marry Anne Boleyn? That's correct. Beautiful and witty. She charmed the king so greatly, he broke with Rome to gain a divorce from Catherine. Anne's family were powerful nobles and would have been delighted to get so close to the throne. Not sure it was worth it for Henry, though. Yeah, she ended up getting the chop. All because Henry thought she'd been unfaithful. That's a mad overreaction, if you ask me. Well, nobody is asking, and you'd be well to hold your tongue. Anyway, the king's third bride was such a relief to everyone. Gentle Jane Seymour gave him the male heir he so wanted. Such a shame she died so soon after giving birth. So very sad. And then... Anne of Cleves? Now, here's a funny story. Henry decided to marry Anne because of a portrait he'd seen all the way over from the continent she came, ready to marry, but Henry took one look at her and claimed she wasn't quite as pretty as her picture. Awkward. It was an awkward time. He divorced her after only four months, but she didn't do so badly. A fat pension, houses, and after the divorce, she was treated as if she were the king's sister. After Anne, we had Catherine Howard. She was a cousin of Henry's second wife, Anne Boleyn, and from the same powerful family. Uh-oh. If she's haunting this gallery, I don't think it ended well for her. She was very young and easily swayed. The king called her his rose without thorns, but she was a lively sort and had many admirers. The king was so jealous convinced himself that she'd got secret boyfriends behind his back and there were plenty of rumours which sent him into a rage. Whether she did betray him, we'll never know. What is certain is that to displease the king can be very bad for your health. Executed, just like her cousin Anne. Poor thing. And now Catherine Parr. Was she posh or royal like the other wives? <laughs> Hardly. She's been married twice. Who would have thought a housewife from Yorkshire would end up as queen? Married here at Hampton Court they were. People consider her nothing more than a nurse, but she's very smart and the king trusts her with important stuff. I won't hear a word said against my lady. She must feel like she's hit the jackpot. Well, if you ask me, why would she want to marry an old fat man twice her age? They say she only ever had eyes for another man. But like most of the ladies, their fate isn't theirs to choose. And neither is mine, young sir. 
that's all the linen folded again. I must be going. And back. It seems like Ken Hengmi had a lot of reasons to get married, to get an heir, to have a pretty wife, to make alliances. And as for the wives, they all sound like pretty amazing women, especially to put up with Henry. What Henry wanted, Henry got. In fact, it seems like in the end, it didn't really matter to him what they thought at all. The Secrets of Hampton Court Palace, with support from historic royal palaces. Find out more at funkidslive.com forward slash palace. <laughs>